Uh, yeah, I got some gravy and stuff too. So. Oh. Now try that A, the one that says bar across the twos. No, don't don't hit the bottom one so much. Uh, it's it's these middle ones, all the middle strings. No, like you don't have to be super super precise with which ones you do and don't hit, because uh, like a lot of people used to play yeah, play dirty is what they'd call it, where you know like there'd be some strings ringing out that don't need to be ringing out. There's a lot of chords that are only those four in the middle too. Or uh, a lot of those campfire chords as I call them, a lot of them are only uh, four strings. Like that D chord I showed you is the first open and then four, and then three below it. There's only a handful that you play all of the strings like that, unless until you get to bar chords. And like uh, you see that E chord? Imagine if you were to play that E chord. Uh, that, that, that first, that, that's D, uh, the first one. Now imagine if you were to play that a couple frets up. You know, like you know, these ones are these ones were ringing out, so you got to follow the pattern. It's so check good. this out. You do it with these two instead. It's these two are on like over here, uh, your pinky and your second, and then your finger goes across the whole thing. It's called a bar chord. So like I said, put your finger all the way across, uh, flat. Uh, no, no, bring your elbow in. No. There you go. Yeah, so flat across. Uh, all of them. And then these two, your pinky and your next one, are doing these two. Just like, like imagine if these were the zeros, like if, the, if your finger was this nut. Yep, now play that. Close, yeah. It's hard to get that bar at first. Yeah, that's an F minor. Or no, F sharp minor. A lot of people don't learn that one to way later, but this is the idea of bars. That, that E minor chord, you can move up and down like that to get all the different other chords in a minor chord. And if you want something to do with this finger, that's uh, oh, the F? Oh, the uh, your middle finger. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, here, go back to your E. Play your E like that with your pinky in this. Play it like that. There you go. Now put this one right here. <laughs> on, one, on, on one on your G string. That's an E major. That's an E major. Now you move that around, and that and the other one, you can do every major and every minor key. So you said. Yep. Yep. And then this on the next string on the one. That's what I was playing all the blues music around earlier. See, major sounds happy, minor sounds sad. And then the A. I, now you know all the chords to play No Rain. That one I was playing earlier, that uh, uh, that old Blind Melon song. Yeah. And then, this, then these would come over here. Yep. Uh, this, this goes all the way across. Uh, all of them. Yep. This, so that's, that's a... yeah, all the, uh, the early 50s music used bar chords extensively. Like Beatles, all the doo-wop. And now try with that down. <laughs> try with that down. Yeah. There you go. So now I see like that was an E minor, that was an E minor, E major, and then one down is F major minor, and then you got F, sh yeah, F sharp, then G, and then, you know, G sharp A, A sharp B, so on and so forth. Okay. The only things that don't have a sharp or a flat between them is E and F don't have a sharp and flat, and B and C don't have a sharp and flat between them. Oh, no, down one. If you're not doing the bar, then it has to be down one. There you go. To make it even easier, you can just use your pinky all the time for both of those. E major and minor, you can use the same, these two, and you just lift up that middle finger. That way you barely change it.
Uh-huh. Alright, so you said like Yeah, like that. And, and I just lift up your middle finger a tiny bit. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And then go, uh, 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 like do like a, like hit that note and then go to the, back to the E, like a, uh, uh, mm, and then back to the E. It's gotta be the third fret. <laughs> nah, it don't matter. Uh, yeah, that, that gets all like your feels, like how you play like that, that's more your feels, that comes later. Bow, bow. Yeah, like uh, right as you're going back to the beginning. You just touch it. Yeah, you know, like when somebody's like when a song is going around the chords and all that, and they're coming back to their verse or whatever, and they might have like a little something right before they go back to the beginning. So you really gotta, gotta put like pressure, you know? Oh yeah. Um, let you know, uh, it takes less pressure the closer to right behind it you get. Mm. It's easier to press the strings down when you get closer to right behind the bar. It should always be behind it. Uh but it takes less pressure the closer you get on this side. See, like, uh, that same thing? Try it over here and see how much harder it is. See, like yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Closer to behind the yeah, fret you uh -huh. get, the easier it is. I see, yeah, so see, that's what was my problem. I was like, my fingers are too fat. Now I just have to. It's, always make sure it's at least a tiny bit behind the bar, because if it's on top or in front, then it's going to sound horrible. Yeah, that's an E major, perfect E major. Yep. Yeah, good E minor. Close. This this needed to go over here. And I was too far away. There you go. I wouldn't yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, yeah. and I wouldn't the A is. Yep, right there. And you said all of them, and then. And then a boom ba. And just like a, hit the, just the three on its own, and then go back to the E. Just the three on the top. Just on its own, just the, the one three. Note. Like that. Like with a little bit of a bend. Th this is the three. Ba -ba. Like, uh, here. Uh, try like that. Oh, sorry. Can you show me? I didn't know really, your strap was on. I treat these, I, 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 um, I, I, um, I treat these, I, I. Those are, those are, those are fills. That was major, minor, and D. So, yeah, it was the... It's, uh, also, like, when I'm doing, like, this stuff, right. I'm not always hitting every single string. Right, I'm, yeah. Yeah, that, and that's just the feels. That's just the feels. Always on your, your down beat should have a down stroke. Okay. How'd you make it do that beat? All oh, right, so uh, that, 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 that highest string, that D, yeah. you can use it as your singing string. Okay. This right here is fucking your second, then your third, and then your fourth, and they all work good. See, I'm holding these as the anchor. Yeah. Like what? No. Huh? Yeah, you can. You can go get A lot of chords will have uh, trill I mean, notes. Trill notes are the ones around the minor or major third that you can change up and down. Mm -hmm. And then anchor notes that you have to hold for, to make it the chord. Like say with this one, it, like uh, the E major. See, you added the pinky on the E major. What oh no, th those are like the trill notes. It's just for like uh, embellishment. It works good. Yeah. I want to learn it too. So that, that comes later. Start on the main shapes. Okay, yeah. I'm, not gonna want to start I'm sorry, I do have that I bad got, habit as a teacher. I have to, I have to but what I was trying to show you is this. As I was going back to the E, do a... Uh, you give it a tiny bend, which yeah, would, that was a tiny techniques. bend from the minor third to the major third uh -huh. is called the blue note. Ah, so you strum them and then... It's uh, called a... Um, it's called a pluck hammer. Uh -huh. the, when you hit it, that's a hammer off. Uh -huh. And a pull off is the... Uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. And now, uh, that's the song I was playing earlier. Like, uh -huh. uh, all I can say is that my life is pretty plain. Uh -huh. you can't <laughs> watching <laughs> the bottles get away. Point of view, but it's not 
shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> My eyes were closed. <laughs> yeah, all right, well, you're good. It's music. There you go. It's, 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 it's powerful, man. It's just... But yeah, those are those three chords I just showed you. You can do that song now. You did, and you can't tell me I'm not going to be doing the D note and use my finger. I'm definitely... Check out some YouTube so... guitar learning videos and uh, look up uh, trills. That's called a trill. Or embellishments. Chord embellishment is another term. And, and...